Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 2. When we last left off we have uh, just finished our revenge against Vikings on this side and also Carthaginians on this side. And basically we have eliminated them from the game completely. That's what you get if you sneak attack the Swiss. And now I think we should concentrate on the research again and finish researching everything. Okay. Let's uh, go down to zero with science. We need 1625 science speakers. Hmm, that's a lot. I guess we should talk to the Sioux again, which are our key civilization, and decrease the carrying costs of research by giving them everything. Your civilization's greatness is an example for all, but our people grow jealous of your privileged lifestyle. Only the secret of mobile warfare will appease them. Well, you are not ready for such knowledge, but I wanted to give you any, everything anyway, so... Yeah, you're lucky. Okay, and we'll give them everything else as well. But I will do that off camera because it will take some time, I guess. So I'll be right back. And we're back, let's even give them the secret of recycling, which we have discovered in the last episode, I believe, and consider this discussion complete. I think we should even... well, first let's check the discoveries. Okay, that's much better, 1235 is okay, let's go to 0 and to 80. Two turns, okay, that's not ideal, I was hoping for one turn, but I guess we would need to be in democracy for that. Let's uh, talk to Persians. If they if they go to war with us, I will probably teach them a lesson. If not, we'll switch to democracy. No, you will not get anything. And uh, let's ask for tribute. <laughs> of course, they are so stupid. They don't stand a chance and still want to go to war. Well, I guess we can fight a little bit more and switch to democracy in a in an episode or two. But for now, let's check. Yeah, that's fine. We are building a lot of things. Cure for cancer will be finished, I think, uh, this turn. We want to finish the city walls in this as well. And in Davos. And anything else? Library. 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 Temple. Okay. Nothing else. Let's end the turn. Swiss scientists discovered the secret of amphibious warfare, which allows us to build a port facility and to train marines. Okay, let's read more about it then. A combined land and sea attack usually associated with the capture of beachhead or coastal area is known as amphibious warfare, first attempted by the ancient Persians during the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC. Successful coordination of amphibious assaults are considered to be among the most complex military operations. When ship-mounted guns were developed, naval vessels would open fire on ground forces and gun emplacements, while merchant ships were used to land troops and supplies. The first modern amphibious assault took place at Gallipoli during World War I. Poorly planned and executed, this assault failed, but served as an example of the need for perfect coordination of forces in this type of attack. As battlefield communications improved and the range of ship-mounted weapons increased, amphibious warfare became increasingly successful and played a vital role in the Second World War. Today, amphibious operations are augmented by fast armored landing vehicles, hovercraft that are capable of moving troops to and across the beach, and airborne assistance from planes and helicopters. That's uh, nice. Let's uh, discover... Espionage. No. No, no, not yet. Let's discover the refrigeration. Okay. Continue building stuff. 
Davos, build a temple. This temple as well. Lucern. What would the other people need? Okay, let's carry oil. Why not? And we discovered a cure for cancer. Wow. Okay, let's read more about it. One extra happy citizen in each city. That's actually a very good uh, founder if you would play on a lower difficulty level and wanted to grow uh, many of your cities simultaneously using the We Love the President Day feature under the democracy or under any other government uh, which supports it, which I think is only Republic actually. And, uh, yeah, let's read the description. Despite the huge outlays of cash for research and study, cancer still looms as the terrifying and deadly plague on the human race. Although scientists and doctors have discovered many different forms of cancer and have identified some of the factors that can trigger the disease, a true cure still eludes modern medical science. A cure for cancer would put an end to the source of much suffering and anguish and allow millions of people who would otherwise be doomed to lead happy and productive lives. Well, in 2014, as per today, we still don't have the cure. So, actually we have a lot of pollution. Let's uh, build a recycling center. Costs only two maintenance and decreases the pollution caused by factories, I think by two thirds or something like that. So we should have only two or three yellow triangles left once we build this. Let's read the description too. The continual growth in city populations leads to an inevitable increase in garbage. Eventually existing landfills and garbage dumps are filled, forcing new dumping sites to be established. This leads to the gradual but steady destruction of the local environment. To reverse this problem, many areas have established recycling centers where much of the garbage is sorted and reduced to reusable components through various means. These components are then used to manufacture new products. In this way, much of the trash produced is turned into raw materials for production rather than contributing to ever-increasing pollution problem. Okay, so let's build that. Let's actually disband one of these units and buy the recycling center so that we don't have to wait so much and I think we've uh, yeah we have the mass transit here so all this pollution is actually caused by the production of um, shields because there are two sources of pollution one is the overpopulation basically big cities and the and this one only only appears once you discover the automobile and can be completely removed by building the mass transit. And the second source is the overproduction of shields or basically draining the resources of the environment, which can be reduced by building a uh, recycling center, for example, but not completely. If you want to completely remove it, then you have to build a solar plant, I believe. That's something we can't do yet, but uh, we'll be able to do uh, later on. So let's actually read something about the mass transit as well. I think we haven't read about it yet. It costs a lot, but eliminates the pollution caused by population completely. In this game, that is. Within a few decades of the invention of the automobile, the horse-drawn carriage disappeared from the city streets. Along with the advantages offered by the automobile, this new means of transportation quickly became a significant source of air pollution. 
As uh, larger cities became more crowded, the number of cars increased, making travel difficult and adding to the pollution problem as automobile traffic clogged the streets. The development of mass transit systems, including buses, trolleys, subways and light rail, led to a reduction in traffic and, as a result, a reduction in air pollution. Well, that's cool. By the way, uh, when we discovered automobile, I think we have also gained access to superhighways, which are somehow related to um, mass transit, although in this game superhighways actually increase the production of trade arrows. Uh, all squares in the city's radius which have roads or railroads produce 50% more trade. So actually for Zurich that will be a really big boost and uh, it's perfectly okay to pay 5 coins maintenance for that. Let's read the description as well. Early in his career, President Eisenhower traveled by road from coast to coast across the United States. This trip, which took nearly a month because of the poor system of roads, convinced him it was necessary to make all areas of the country easily accessible. Not only were these improvements important to the growing number of people traveling by automobile, they could prove invaluable for the movement of troops and military equipment should the need arise. In 1956, Eisenhower established a federal aid program known as the Highway Trust Fund to accelerate the construction of a network of interstate roads. By 1991, the interstate highway system in the US consisted of over 42,000 miles of highways. Unlike local roadways, superhighways were designed to bypass large population centers and thus, by the way, decrease the pollution and were accessible in limited locations and planned entrance and exit in interchanges. These highly efficient roadways allow motorists today to travel from one end of the country to the other without having to slow down for intersections and traffic signals. Excellent. Now, I already forgot where to send you a freight carrying oil, so I think we'll do it like this. Solo turn, peel. Uh, San Kalen. Let's uh, let's send it to Pasar Gadei. Yeah, seems like a good idea. So, go to all players. Pasar Gadei. Continue moving unit. Yes, yes. What? Okay, whatever. You can't decide where to go. Go to Beal then. Hello. Really? I mean, how can you be that stupid? Ah, oh, okay, we'll move you later. Let's uh, decide what shall we do with this settler. I think we need to go to Sion, probably. Okay, that was better. And start building railroads there as well. Over here too, maybe. And that's fine. One over here. And we are at war with the Persians, right? Yes, we are. So let's teach them a lesson. They declared war on us, not the other way around. So let's attack or return the pleasantry. have been couldn't have been easier okay i think there are some ironclads over here let's get rid of them as well oh and some more even two together wow that's cool you will go up you will go up as well and you can go up okay perfect Build roads. You can build roads as well. More. And more. Okay. I think we'll just uh, put all of them to Zurich because we don't have anything better to do with them just yet. 
and let's check the progress refrigeration is doing nicely yeah that's fine that's fine let's end the turn we build a recycling center and a swiss scientist discovered the secret of refrigeration it allows settlers to improve farmland actually i think also settlers not sure maybe only engineers but uh, maybe also settlers as well and allows us to build a supermarket so let's read the description prior to first world war ice was the most widely used means of refrigeration for perishable items after the war electrical refrigerators became commonly available the availability of these systems allowed for more constant and efficient cooling in turn allowing perishable meats dairy products and other items to be stored or even frozen for long periods of time as a result food producers could increase their output since excess food could be stored for later sale or consumption the concept of the wholesale selling of bulk foods known as the supermarket was in part made possible by improved refrigeration the same method used in food refrigeration was also developed for use in air conditioners okay and our settlers and engineers may now use the farmland or i order to improve farmland in squares which already contain irrigation farmland squares increase food production by 50 percent but only for cities containing the supermarket improvement okay let's discover the robotics next we are uh, not building the uh, oh sorry not researching the flight because it would decrease our trade it would make the uh, colossus obsolete we don't want to do that just yet let's build a supermarket now allow squares in the city radius with the farmland improvement to produce 50 percent more food costs three coins but that's fine supermarkets are large self-service retail stores that sell a wide variety of food items and household goods to the general public the first true supermarket king cullen was established in 1930 in the borough of queens new york city by michael cullen improved storage techniques and refrigeration allowed supermarkets to stock and sell perishable foods in large quantities reducing the price to the consumer the combination of ready availability and low prices made the supermarket an instant success in the u.s during the years of the great depression the supermarket continues to grow in popularity in countries around the world okay so let's build that by i don't know disbanding one caravan and buying the stuff that's fine so moritz builds the library you can continue by building marketplace for example in Pelinzona can carry gold why not and uh, what did we want to do so Zurich building the marketplace that's fine by the way our um, pollution completely disappeared that's cool that's very cool okay um, by building the recycling center i thought it would only decrease it by a certain factor but obviously it removed most of it so maybe it doesn't decrease by a certain percentage maybe it removes a certain number of um, of uh, the yellow triangles who knows okay let's uh, continue and even attack the city i guess That's not good. Yeah. Okay, I guess I will just attack a few more times and then return with all my ships to to Vaduz, for example. And Vaduz will build a port facility. Yeah. City produces veteran naval units. Any ship spending its entire turn in the city is completely repaired. Perfect. Seagoing vessels have been used for both commercial transport and military purposes for thousands of years. Cities built on rivers and on the coasts of seas and oceans build facilities to receive cargo and to house military vessels stationed in the area. Many of the larger cities 
built large port facilities that included shipyards for the construction of new vessels, large warehouse and docking facilities and dry docks for the repair of damaged vessels. Heavily damaged ships can be repaired much more quickly when such facilities are available. Okay, uh, let me actually think about it a little bit more. Maybe we have a city which is closer, like Arosa, for example. I think that's the closest city. So let's switch to the, where is it, port facility over here. Build it for 150 gold almost. And uh, you will all go to Arosa. You as well. Uh, you not just yet. You have still a lot of uh, health. But some other ships will do that. The settlers will continue building roads. However, one of them, or maybe even two, I don't know, will uh, continue or we will go to Zurich and we'll start building the farmland there. So let's uh, improve the farmland. Perfect. You can go to Zurich as well and help them. That's fine. And we have already um, reached our mark of 20 minutes for an episode. So I say bye bye for now and till next time.